and welcome back. All right, cleared out that fucking drowning asshole. Now we're gonna move on to dealing with more of them. I believe so. I'm not. My memory's a bit jaded when it comes to this part. Cause I have to go through this whole fucking graveyard. I think it's supposed to be like three battles, maybe two. I don't remember the time. Here to Why are there so many here? Holy crap. Oh, that was my fucking mistake. It's gonna make no difference anyway. Well, if I clear these assholes out first. A hell of a lot stronger on this Damn it. That's how hard it is. Whoa. Oh, shit, stains. And I want to be Got him on that one. Good lord. Why do I just feel like this is delayed all of a sudden? I have no reason as to why. It just feels that way. Almost like the sound is a little bit off. Oops. Yeah. Oh, I killed him. Hmm. I have no fucking answer for it. Uh, thank God. Not two and a half. It's just... Nope. Why am I not surprised? I think this is crap. I don't know if I'm doing this, but uh, yeah, I guess I have to. <sighs> Fuck. Ah, oh, dear. This is going to prove very interesting. Oh, there we are. You suck at hide and seek, mate. Worse, Jesus. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, get that out of the way. Thank God. One down, dude. Go. Wait, come back here. I'm a savior of a, a sort. <laughs> Oh 
god. Oh god. Jumping. Puzzles of sorts? Not too sure. Jesus. That is a fucking drop. Oh crap, I didn't re. Fuck. That was strange. Personal thanks for releasing me. I never dreamed. I had too many nightmares. Because of that Chipotle I had. Jesus. And on to the next so called half assed nightmare. That is pretty much what this is. Oh, right, you know what I was like? I know I can hit those assholes. No, I'm trying to hit them. Oh god! See, now that because they're on a bigger platform, they're actually a bigger threat, to be quite honest. Like, shit. I was not thinking that one through. So I had like two and a half, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I... Can't skip this. Oh, wait, yeah, I could've. Kinda. Sorta. Dude's hand on that bottle. <laughs> Shit. I hate to like to not think that around ruin it would fucking ruin my day. Apparently he's doing his damn too. And it's getting rather annoying right now. One, two, there's three. Shit. Wait, I don't know. Ah, shit. Oh god, he's still fucking up. Oh god, those are bombs, bombs, bombs. Get out of here. Get out. Get fucked. <sighs> yeah, I know what that means. Three deaths. Fast forward. You're probably wondering why I kind of over fast forward to that. I am not fucking doing that again. This fucking thing is annoying. Just the sheer fucking stupidity of that one dude, and not even the three drifting ruin. No, no, it was just that dude alone. Died once at the drifting ruin, and then just fucked up along the way with that asshole. And I can only hope I fight two of them, I bet. I throw other ruin at me, because I know how this game works. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, they're leeches. I don't have to worry about that. That I have to worry about. That I fucking have to worry about. Oh, God. Still gonna give this try. Oh, God. Just 
still gives me three fucking... Wait, why the fuck? Oh my god, it's fucking targeting the ruins instead of the fucking asshole. Oh my god, that's so... Great, I fucking love not having target priorities. Why? Why would it target the fucking ruin? I forget what the hell the cycle button is anyway. Might be caps lock, I'm not too sure. That oh, was caps lock. Oh, great. Fucking has the. Oh my god, I won't not, not target him. I have to like untarget him in order to fucking go out to the ruins so I don't fucking die because he's gonna be thrown. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. Oh, this is bad. Fuck. And then 20 bucks says he's ever fucking spawning. Oh, what the hell am I doing? And just goes right back to the fucking ruin. Yeah, they are fucking ever spawning. Son of a... They've lost a little bit of count from my sanity. No, that was three. I will see you in a couple more minutes. Was that such a fucking nightmare? It's the void and glorious main for us. God. Fuck that. I'm I'm fucking glad I'm done with that shit right now. Fucking glad. Damn. EA needs to really get their fucking shit together. And I hate to really be fucking calling out Mr. McGee for his choice. No, oh, choices. Because, god damn, that was bullshit. still be unhappy even though this, is a, this looks like a fucking goddamn fun ass slide to be in. More assholes. God, it's him. Oh boy. Uh. I have totally forgotten how to fucking actually fight him.
I'm not gonna fucking fast forward. I'm just gonna jump cut this because I have no idea how much time I have left worrying on the thing and my recorder likes to fuck me sometimes. So I will see you after I've destroyed this colossal ruin. I'm just gonna do this real quick just to make safe. So I'll see you in the jump cut. Oh great googly fucking moogly. Oh fuck. Oh, I have a bad feeling I'm gonna be fighting another one of those guys. Jesus Christ. That was most fucking horrible. Like, I had to look up a guy to figure out, like, okay, there was a fucking trick about kicking his ass. And lo and behold, there was. And funny enough, it was the one that I should have remembered, which was using the fucking, um, what the hell was it? Um, because there were like two pillars there, and I was like, oh, why the fuck didn't I think of that? Every picture tells a story. Sometimes we don't like the ending. Sometimes we don't understand it. It's hard to see from here, but that, uh, he's got a mayor's sash on. <laughs> Apparently, the carpenter's been a bit busy as of late. Uh, this is the. That's fucking creepy, I just realized, like. What am I doing here? Oh, here we go. The door fucking somehow not close, close. I can't tell. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show! <laughs> <laughs> That's quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I am without prejudice and have a fine sense of humor. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Laborers, lawyers, shirt and gown all make their little pranks. This life is full of random deaths and heaps of grief and shame. So if you are sued by accident, you want someone to blame. Fire, plague, and strange disease. Drowned, murdered, or if you please. A long fall down the basement stairs. None are expected. No one cares. I often must work very hard. Sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest. And the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death is the ultimate equalizer. All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> Get in line, Princess. Don't push. All will be served. So to speak. What's this thing? <laughs> Feasting while Wonderland is destroyed. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I tried to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast. Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However this turns out, consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. Then ask, by whom? No! Who set that bloody train in motion? Where does it come from? It arrived when you arrived, and it's more horrible even than you could currently imagine. The death of a dream! Caterpillar may know how! And he knows how, because in the next scene, you're gonna see why he knows. <laughs> what did you want? What they all want. Money didn't earn. What were you thinking, butting into that mess? You could have been killed. Nanny, my mind's in pieces. I still have terrible visions and I need to know. Out the fire. Same as always. You need to move on, Alice. So do I. Well, at least she's not spewing that aside of nonsense. My past is dead. I killed them. I should have saved them. I should have died. 
mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in her inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Heavy dose of madness, I'd say, but honest is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped eyes like pinwheels, drooled, and occasionally squeaked. Never uttered a sensible sound. And like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. And now the title music in Piano Key. Gone off some lurkers, common as cockroaches. And those poor tykes are food for perverts, like the blameless ants that wasps consume, spiders' feeble prey. You visited my room at Rutledge. What were you. You call that? Radcliffe paid me for a bit. A woman alone sometimes does what she doesn't particularly feel like doing, as you know. Nurse Whitler said you'd fallen on hard times. I'm no trouble like her. I'm hurting no one. Bookings, not a bad life. <laughs> Except for the pimps. She also said you might have my rabbit. Please, Nanny, talk about the damn fire. Never seems to help. Look, Alice, I can't give you what I don't have. Radcliffe wrote the inquest report. I'll take you to it. Besides, he's got your damn rabbit. You should remember that. All right, but Mr. Radcliffe's useless. Don't I know it? Preaching to the choir. <laughs> okay, uh. Every now and then the horde look pretty fucking useless. Ish. Uh, I gotta remember where the fuck to go, though. Or apparently I'm just stupid and not realizing how linear this fucking path is. Mm hmm, mm hmm. This episode might be a bit extended, so to speak. Madness is just a truthful claim. Solicitor. Did you mind the latch? Yep. <laughs> then I walk gonna get hit by a train. <laughs> Boom! Also, that pen's in a very bad spot. You do have my rabbit. Forgotten your manners? And what else, I wonder? You abandoned it at Rutledge Asylum, my dear. We've been over this before. In a huff as usual. Oozing with attitude and accusatory flummery, I've stolen a rabbit. Ridiculous pretext. She's here about the fire again. All the mad child wants to talk about. My report found her family dead by misadventure. She won't accept it. It goes on and on about her killing memories and her need to know the truth. The alleged truth is... The fire began in the library when the cat knocked over a lamp. The blaze trapped her parents and sister upstairs. Sister Lizzie never even unlocked her door. She died in her bed. The guilty cat always sets her off. She denies it. Makes no sense. It can't be, etc. Agreed. And from the outset, Alice was my candidate for the pyromaniac. The girl had a fixation with fire. I once remarked that I thought she might have had a larger role in causing the tragedy. She suffered some sort of psychotic episode. Psychotic. Did it's I psychotic. I wanted to. What's left of my brain will explode. Should we in? Is it mad to pray for better hallucinations? Perhaps I'm fated to expire right here. Uh, is this the house? Probably is. And then probably will. 
just throw cut some sort of fucking... All of a sudden it's snowing. And the weird thing is... The mock turtle lost its sea. Yeah, that doesn't really recuperate how fucked up your memories are right there yet. The ruin in London with the mushrooms. And then, holy shit. The infernal train. Yeah, I'm in my pretty this dress again. Ruin. It's corrupting all of Wonderland. Seeking refuge from the wicked world. Perhaps things only look like they've gone to hell. You're not that good a liar, and I'm not that stupid. But something a bit less calamitous would have been welcome. This unmitigated disaster is your doing, and it will get worse. Your train keeps a hellish schedule. Get moving. Time waits for no one. The change has begun. The train is perfectly capable of terrifying me, Cat. You should find another job. Is there really so little hope? There's even less. And if fear paralyzes you, we are lost. It's got a fucking point, though. And... Please don't be what I think you are. Yep, this part's gonna suck. Just eat your fucking head of the if I just get rid of these little bastards... Okay, okay, you're gonna be thrown again. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I gotta be careful, I gotta just remember his swings. I gotta not do that! That's bad. Fuck. Okay, he didn't take enough for him to... Oh, God. Swap to knife, please. Thank you. Uh, okay, that's two heads now. Now I gotta just bounce these, and we should be good to go. I don't think I can push him off the edge. Nope, didn't think so. He probably... PUSH! Shit. Oh, that dodge. I was already out of the immediate danger. Oh. God almighty, that madness. Okay, back up a bit, because I can't trust myself well enough to actually time these well. Somehow, I... There we go. Good lord. Alright. Stop it here. Because, yeah. So, here is what we're going to do. We are going to see the Cat Hitler and travel off to Oriental Land, because that is essentially what Chapter 3 is. So, remember to always stay off and always play your games on the hardest difficulty, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.